Here we are on the 10th floor of Eaton House, right next to Coventry train station, at the start of what is a really exciting development for the whole city, the Friargate development, looking to create nearly 13,500 new jobs for Coventry over several years. And today's a really important day. Behind me, the great and good of the city are here, a real buzz. We're on this 10th floor. We can overlook some of the work that's actually going on. Our iconic ring road was built 40 years ago. Uh, and it, so it seems appropriate after serving the city so well for four decades that we give it the honour of starting the, the Frygate project. We've made and will continue to make bold decisions to kickstart the regeneration of our great city. And this project and the whole Frygate development shows our commitment and ambition to Coventry, bringing thousands of new jobs, creating a thriving business district and a fantastic first impression for our city. We're going to have a beautiful bridge deck all the way from the station into our lovely city and we're going to have lots of office buildings with high paid workers spending in the city and making it the most exciting place in the Midlands. Yeah it's a really exciting day actually, this is a landmark day, it really is the start of the regeneration of this part of the city centre and what you're seeing is the removal of the old Junction 6 of the inner ring road. Well, at the moment, uh, if you come out of Coventry train station, you're into a car park, and what my hopes are, are that the new boulevard, as, which is part of this project, will link the city and the station using uh, a green um, walkway, if you like, a boulevard, to guide people in to the city and to a wider open green space. Well, we hope that this will become a, a really important new business district, both for Coventry and for the West Midlands. In fact, it is such an important project close to the rail network, it's actually nationally important for the regional offices. It's really important that the regional cities provide a good alternative to London and provide the estate form of development that the market needs with low energy buildings for the future that are connected by a good rail network. I think we'll be rolling forward and building new buildings to occupy for occupiers over the next few years. It will radically change the city. We're actually doing today what we've been told for 40 years is impossible. We've been told that the ring road can't be changed, can't be altered. You can't do anything to the junctions because the city will grind to a halt. And we're going to show that you can do these alterations. You can have developments in the city and it will work. And we are really, really excited about the changes that are going on here. We've got a very tight 12 month programme, our funding has to be spent by June next year, work's complete by March, um, so it's just making sure that nothing goes wrong, keeping the team together, um, we made a great start, we started on time, so we just need to go on the way we started really. <laughs> yeah, March 15 is what we're targeting for completion, at the moment that looks definitely achievable. We are doing everything we can to make sure the traffic flows all through these roadworks but there will be times when it's a bit too much and things will slow down but bear with us it will all end it will all work better eventually just give yourself a bit more time to get to where you want to go to yes i mean we've done a lot of modeling a lot of work a lot of preparations gone into this inevitably like you know tomorrow morning first day of it people have got to get used to a new system so you know we expect that there may be a few delays as people bed in and we obviously we ask some people's um, patience but we're confident that, you know, once people get used to the new system, we think it'll work very well. But the prize is wonderful. And it's not for me, um, it's for our children and our grandchildren. Building projects like this don't show their full potential for the first few years. But Coventry rebuilt itself after the war. And I would say this is almost on a par with that sort of rebuilding. So here we go, the work has finally begun. Frygate, the development, Junction 6 of the Ring Road, it's all going on and it's the start of the new transformation of Coventry City Centre.